What is up everybody, how's it going? Justin here, back again to bring you all another video, a Legion centered video, where I'll be going over 10 simple things that you should do before Legion launches. Now I know everyone and their incest cousin has already made a video like this in the past weeks and months, but hey man, there are some things that I haven't seen mentioned that may help you guys out. And hey, some of you guys watching this video might not have seen the other videos that I'm talking about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get at it with number 10, Killing Kazakh. Doomlord Kazakh is someone that you should kill every single week. One, because it's really easy to get a group started to kill him. Two, he's not hard to kill at all, especially if you get a good amount of healers and people who aren't dumb tarded. And three, because he drops some pretty high item level gear which will definitely help you out as you level through Legion. Some of the mobs in the Broken Isles hit like damn trucks, even if you are geared. So one of the ways to make sure that you're having an easier time killing them, and just in general, leveling faster, is to kill Kazakh. He basically gives you free gear. Also, he drops a pretty good amount of Felplight, which is still high in demand right now. So if you want some gear and a couple of gold, get a bonus roll token and make your way to Tanan. Literally, the only thing that you have to worry about when you get there are groups of the opposing faction that might be there ready to gank you and your entire group. Like one time, I had this one DK grip me into like a group of 20 people. I had so many axes freaking hit me that my character was basically killed to the point of utter deletion. Number 9. Max out your professions. Professions are a great way to earn you gold. They always have been. Which is why you should take this time to really think out which professions you want to roll and why. Are you trying to make gold? Then perhaps you want to grab one gathering profession and tailoring, seeing as to how bags will always have an endless demand. And as for maxing him out right now, why not? There isn't anything else to do at the moment, and who knows how busy you will be in Legion, leveling, gearing up, doing max level quests in Suramar, and etc. You might neglect professions entirely until the last minute that you actually need them, and by the time that it takes for you to max out your professions, you would have lost out on ample opportunities to make a sizable amount of gold. Mats and crafting items are always at a ridiculous price near the launch of an expansion, so instead of spending your time leveling your professions from skill level 1, start making use of your professions by joining in on the supply and demand train and earn yourself a good amount of gold in the early days of Legion. Number 8. Doing your garrison raid missions. Garrisons are something that have been nerfed to the damn ground since the pre-patch hit, but there are still some uses to it, such as doing the Black Rock Foundry and Hellfire Citadel missions. If you aren't a raider or stopped raiding and you don't happen to be blanketed from head to toe in fully upgraded Hellfire Citadel mythics, then doing your shipyard and garrison missions that give you raid gear is a must. Of course this gear is going to be replaced as you quest through Legion, but not for a good amount of time, and they will help you out far more than if you were to just start questing at item level 670. Plus it's free raid gear. I mean if you don't want to do it for the gear, do it so you can at least vendor the pieces of gear for like 40 G's. Number 7. Get your legendary ring. The legendary ring isn't going to be obtainable forever. Once Legion launches, you will not be able to get the ring, meaning one less legendary and one less item to help you level faster. The ring is great in helping you nuke down mobs, especially if you have it maxed out to the highest upgraded item level, and even if you don't, you won't replace it with another piece of gear for a good amount of time. Even if you don't care about having it with you to level, it's a legendary. Get it now while you have nothing to do before it's unobtainable forever. Number 6. Clear out your mats. I'm willing to bet that a good amount of you guys still have a bunch of mats just sitting in your mains regent tab or on your alts regent tab. Get rid of it while it's still worth something. In Legion, those spaces are going to be needed for whatever items that you may farm or come across, so make room in your banks right now while those items are still in demand so you won't be a damned hoarder. Number 5. Level up your fishing and archaeology. Lesser professions, but they still have their uses even though they are both insanely boring to grind. However, if you know that in the future you may be messing with archaeology or that there may be some rewards that you may want, it may be a good idea to start leveling it now. Same goes for fishing. In Legion, there will be a fishing artifact rod that you can obtain, which will give you some passives such as allowing you to breathe underwater, walking on water, and a chance to catch a blood of Sargeras while fishing, which is a crafting region. But to obtain this rod, you must have a skill level fishing and complete a number of achievements. If you plan on doing either in Legion, it'd be a good start to level them now. Number 4. Using the Barn 
As I said, garrisons, although they have been nerfed, still have a good amount of uses, one of them being the barn. Use the barn to go trap some wolves in the grand and farm some sumptuous fur and savage blood. Sumptuous fur and savage blood are still in high demand nowadays since people are buying the fur to craft hexweave bags and also buying the blood to make Draenor illusion tomes for enchanting. Also, if you have tailoring, I would suggest that you hold on to the furs yourselves and start making bags. Demon hunters are coming out tomorrow for pre-purchased players and like rats breeding, there's going to be tons of them from that point on, meaning that these bags are about to sell like hotcakes. Number 3. Mythic Trinkets Mythic trinkets can be looted from Warlords of Draenor Mythic Dungeon bosses, and the reason you want these is because they are heirloom trinkets that will scale up to level 110. Maxing out at 815 item level, which means that you won't replace them anytime soon. They will literally last you until you hit max level, and with them being heirlooms, you will unlock them on all of your tunes, making them pretty worthwhile to farm. Number 2. Spend your garrison resources. Do not let your garrison resources build up up in your currency tab just to go to waste. Do one of these two things, build the trading post or go to your garrison vendor and buy some rush orders for your barn. Either of them will be better than leaving your resources to build up without a purpose. Now of course the number of resources required to purchase mats from the trading post are as high as me when I'm sniffing Elmer's glue, but you can still get a good amount of mats from just straight out trading your garrison resources for mats that will actually give you a profit. Number 1. This one is pretty simple, but still it needs to be said. Know which class you want to roll. What for PvE and what for PvP. With the new class revamps that come out with the pre-patch, a lot of you guys who have not logged in yet may find out that what class you usually rolled with up to now may not be the class that you want to roll with in Legion. For me it's the same though, Fury is great in PvE, it's super fun, and there's little to no downtime, but as for PvP, I don't really like it compared to what it used to be. With Enrage Regeneration change, Intervene removed, and Shield Barrier taken out for Fury, Fury's survivability is quite crappy at the moment. This led to me playing around with my other alts, and that's when I discovered the absolute AIDS that is Affliction. Affliction is fun as hell right now, and with the right build, you can literally turn into a human punching bag. Four people can be on you, and you can still hold your own for a good bit of time. Now don't get me wrong, I will always main a warrior for PvE, but I can't help but just log onto my warlock now every single time I want to BG. This is something you want to figure out now for obvious reasons. If you decide to switch mains in Legion because you don't like the new changes, it could be a really annoying setback. For instance, level capping a frost mage, and then once you geared him out to an extent, you will now want to roll a boomy. That's a waste of time that you might might not be happy with, whereas you could have originally leveled the boomy from the start if you took the time now to figure out who you would want to main. But that's it to this video guys, I know some of these things listed on here are pretty obvious and basic, but sometimes we overthink and the most generalized of things tend to be overlooked. Anyways guys, hopefully you found this video helpful, hopefully you know what you want or can be doing now before Legion arrives. And with that guys, peace out, take care, and as always, have a good one.